Hey there, creatorpreneurs. Today, I'm gonna show you some great graphics that you can create using the little known shapes tool you'll find inside the graphics creator by Laughing Bird Software. Okay, let's get started. Today, I'm going to be using the uh, our online version, the webgraphicscreator.com. And I like the, the online version because all you have to do is log in to the site and you'll see all of our template sets. There's over a thousand uh, templates that you can choose from and hundreds and hundreds of elements that you can use. So to show you what the shapes tool does, I'm going to use the YouTube channel art template set. And I'll use uh, this template. All because I kind of like this text. Once it loads up, um, I'm going to delete this picture because we don't need it right now. And I'm going to come up here to the Photos and Videos tab, and I'm going to type in something, I don't know, like butterflies. <laughs> and good, perfect. This one comes up. I'm going to drag it over, and I'm going to make it fit the canvas, and I'm going to come up here and send it to the back. All right, so now I have my text, and I can get this out of the way. Now... Oh wait, there's some text here that I probably am not gonna use, so I'm gonna delete it. Okay, now, the Shapes tool is, is found under the Edit menu. You can create circles, rectangles, triangles. So, we're gonna do a circle first, and it creates a simple circle. And we're gonna come up here to the Edit menu, and we're gonna create a rectangle. And it creates a simple rectangle. So, I'm gonna start manipulating this now. I'm gonna make this, stretch it, so it's a little longer. Now for this particular part of the tutorial, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a lower third. You've seen lower thirds on TV, on YouTube videos, and on sports shows. It's a combination of text and graphics put into the lower third of your video. So first I'm gonna make the circle a little smaller and drag it down here and put this something like that, okay? There's the beginnings of our lower third, cool. Now we're gonna draw an outline over this so we'll go to Shape Outline, and here's the magic. Now we start to manipulate everything. And the outline can be thick. Let's make it uh, yellow, orangish to match, to offset the blue here. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the, uh, the rectangle shape, and we're gonna make an outline on this too, but we want it to match the outline of the circle. So I'm gonna come up here to Shape Outline, and this time, I'm going to use the Color Picker tool. So all I have to do is click on it, and then come over here to the circle where I want to select the yellow and click. And now the outline is the same color. I'm going to turn off the Color Picker, and I'm going to set the outline a little thicker. Now, I have a problem with this because I don't like the line going to the circle. So here's a cool trick. I'm going to use this circle here, I'm gonna come up here to the edit menu again, but this time I'm gonna duplicate the circle. And it duplicates it and it puts it into the front. But then I'm gonna come over here to the shape outline and I'm going to turn off the outline on that. And then I can manipulate the circle and now it looks like we have one shape. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, let's bring the text down here. Uh, we're gonna bring this to the front. So I'm gonna hit the options menu, bring to front, and I'm going to shrink it so it fits. And let's give this a darker outline so we can see it. So let's make it black. And we'll make the text over here, text color. We will make it a brighter yellow or something like that so we can see it. Better. One more thing we wanna do is use this 21. So what am I gonna do with this? Let's bring it over here. Um, I need to have it in a circle, so let's click on the circle, and I'm gonna come up here again, and I'm gonna duplicate this again, and I'm gonna bring this up here, shrink it a little bit, and I'm gonna send it to, I'm gonna send it a little further back. Okay, and now we have the same problem we had with the circle kind of going in front. We don't want that. So, one more time, I'm going to duplicate that circle, and I'm gonna turn off the outline. And now our 21 is missing, so now we have to click on the 21 and bring that to the front, and now it's in the front. 
And now I will manipulate this just a little bit. Oh, look at that, that's kind of cool. Let's try something like that. Bring the 21 in. And now here we have a blog graphic or a thumbnail for your YouTube video. Pretty cool. Okay, here's another really cool thing you can do with the shapes, uh, the shapes tool. With the shape that you create with the graphics creator, you can actually drag images inside of it. Here, let me show you. So on my desktop, I think I have a folder that I saved here with few images. So let's say I wanna make a signature for an email or a, my website or a YouTube video. If I click on a shape and I select it, you have to select it because once I drag an image on top of it, the software needs to know what you wanna drag onto, so you have to select it. If it's not selected, the image goes right onto the canvas. But if I select a shape, I can drag the image right on top of it, and there I am inside the circle. And now I go to the shape color, and if I click it, I can kind of manipulate the inside of it. So I can make my face bigger, I can offset it a little bit, Okay, and then I wanna make it smaller because my big head's too big. <laughs> cool, now let's bring this, actually let's bring all this up because I'm gonna write my name underneath it and I'll show you something else we can do really quick. So here, let's just double click on the text here. Okay, set my name, there is a lower third. Now what I could also do is change this font a little bit, make it uh, italic. So. I'm gonna come over here to text format and I'm gonna pick a Google font. So when I pick a Google font, I can either select from this list and keep scrolling or I'm gonna click here. Or I can preview a Google font, which pops up a little window. And now I can choose by clicking categories, serif, sans serif, I don't want display, I want handwriting fonts, okay? Now if I look at handwriting fonts, I can scroll down to see what I want, and I happen to know because I've done it before, I can do satisfy, I like that. Let's try satisfy. So I, I will have to memorize the word, satisfy, close the box, come over here, pick a Google, <laughs> pick a Google font, and type in, start typing satisfy, and then the font actually will pop up for me, and I will click it, and here's my name, it changes to that font. I'm gonna click on my name here, I'm gonna set all my formatting, my spacing. Now watch this. I can actually italicize the font by holding my shift key down on my computer, my shift key's down. And when I do that, this little cursor turns into a sideways arrow rather than an up arrow. See it's sideways? And now I can kind of italicize my text. And I'm also going to rotate the text, hold the shift key down and italicize it more. There, pretty cool. Or let's say I don't want this kind of a graphic. Now I'm gonna hit the undo button. Undo it until the text is where it was before I created my name and I italicized it. Just keep hitting undo until it changes back to that. Okay, and now I wanna bring the text here and I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna, call, I'm gonna type in support center. And I happen to like this font so I'm gonna leave it. And now instead of my big old face here, I'm gonna come back to my tech support bird and drag this over and go back to shape color, manipulate it a little bit. And now we have a support center graphic. And maybe we wanna even come over here to the, uh, sh to the shape tool and go to the shape color. And I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool so I can pick up some of the blue back here. So I'm gonna select the eyedropper tool, click on the blue, and now it kind of fits the graphic a little better and the word support center is easier to see. Awesome. Okay, back to the home page. Um, I'm gonna use the, let's use the characters for this one. Okay, I got this next idea. Have you ever seen uh, the versus graphics? I call them versus graphics because I'm gonna go to images to show you what I'm talking about. So this versus that, um, A versus B, right? That kind of thing. We can create our own graphic like this. We can pick a template like, let's get a good one here really quick. Ah, okay, this is good. Click it. And I'm gonna make the canvas a little bit bigger so we can work with everything here. Let's bring that here. Now we're gonna use the shapes tool up here to separate this graphic here. So I'm gonna go to edit. And this time I'm gonna 
create a triangle, which creates a generic triangle. So I'm gonna make it uh, blue, okay? And then I'm gonna uh, drag it to the very corner and make it super big. And then I have my, that's gotta be even bigger than that. Bigger, and now I have a division where I can take it and slant it just a little bit here like that. There, half the page. And I'm gonna bring the text to the front. Okay, and this, I don't want that color actually, so I'm gonna delete it and set, this is my canvas now. So my canvas color, let's make it um, orange, that's good. Bring this guy, oops. <laughs> Bring him to the front. Okay, and then we have to, um, let's just use this text. I'm gonna click on the text, and I'm gonna duplicate the text, and I'm going to highlight everything and say verses. And I don't like the text shadow, so I'm gonna turn off the text shadow. And I actually don't like the font, so I'm gonna come back here to text format and preview the Google fonts again and select the category. This time I want display. Now display is more of a bold, cartoony, that kind of thing. So now I'm gonna find the font I want, like uh, righteous, that might be good. Um, here, this is not bad, special elite, let's try that. So I'm gonna close the box, come over here to pick a Google font and start typing special elite. Here it is. And I select it, and there it is. Kinda, not bad. How about righteous, like I like before? Righteous, right, you know, bam. All right, not bad. Turn that, and now, because I like the Graphics Creator Online version, because it's got tons and tons of objects, so I'm gonna come up here to Elements, and come over here to the Comics element, and the backgrounds, let's see, a Comic Explosions, there we go. And I can scroll through these graphics. Let's try this one. Drag it over. Send it. Oops, I gotta click on it. Send it to the very back. But then this is in the way, so now I gotta send this to the back again. Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> Delete that. Oh, let's make that the heart versus. There we go. Heart versus this guy. But this is way too big. So let's shrink that down a little bit. And this could be a blog graphic, it could be a great YouTube thumbnail. You could drag your own pictures in. As a matter of fact, let's try that. So let's get rid of the heart. Let's get rid of the cartoon character. Let's come up here and to make, we'll make one circle here and we'll duplicate it and bring this circle down here. And actually let's get rid of the texture. And now we can come up here to the photos and videos, watch this. And let's type uh, fire and water. So we're gonna type in fire for this circle. Okay, so do we like fire, shape, color, make that fit. Okay, there's fire, close this real quick and go back to photos and videos and now we're gonna type in water. There you go, so click on the circle, bring the water over. So there you go. That's how to use the shapes tool in the graphics creator. And I hope you got a lot out of this. Thanks for watching, my name is Mark Sylvester. This is the graphics creator by Laughing Bird Software and I'll see you next week. Oh, oh, oh.